welcome everyone to this class this is a class on project planning and control and uh, we are recording this uh, along with the students of the dual degree batch in building technology and construction management who are taking it as a course so th these are the students who will be participating with me in the classroom and uh, this first lecture will give a basic introduction to the course and the context of the course so we would uh, first look at the learning objectives what we have today is i hope in the uh, by the end of this class we'll be able to define what project management is to this to all of you uh, understand the science of project management understand that there are standards with which project management is managed and be able to get a better understanding of what the standards are and actually then go into the scope of what the course does and the plan for the class so this is really the learning objectives for uh, this lecture and uh, let's get started so i would like to set the context of the course first okay and for this i would like to do it in a little bit of a discussion based mode and the first question which i want to ask you all is what is project management what do you understand by project management management of resources what else people scheduling, scheduling. cost okay what are the other topics that come to mind so you are cop to occupied management of this so you are using the term management what does the term management mean okay no so i'm i'm coming back to this term we have designed management and in project management management is one of the one of the functions so let us take probably the definition of management a little later what is a project in the task activity which is not in the task undertaking a task okay so i decide to uh, to undertake a task of let's say making uh, making cars is it a project it should be unique okay so the key word which we are looking for is unique okay so when we talk about project management is really management of something unique is that is that okay so when we talk so i want to now continue and kind of get to the general definitions so what you'll see here is when we i don't want to go and ask you on definition of management because there are probably over a thousand definitions of what management is and i'll just take uh, you know one of the oldest definitions which was uh, uh, put forward by a person who who was one of the fathers of management from a, a french origin and it is to manage is to forecast plan organize to command and coordinate and control okay so this is how he defined management now when we come into project so we want to be able to forecast plan organize command and coordinate and control we can do that in any many contexts when you come into the context of a project the key is that it is temporary just you all as you all mentioned it's temporary it's unique and it's a temporary so if you look at uh, this definition now the definition of a project is what do you say less common and one of the most accepted definitions of a project is what is put forward by the project management institute and this is it's a temporary group activity designed to produce a unique product service or result so the key word here is again it's unique okay so remember it's unique product unique service or unique result okay and other way of looking at uh, the uh, uh, from a you know very popular wiki resources project management is again discipline of planning organizing securing and managing resources to bring about successful completion so what i've done with here is combine the definition of management with the definition of project you know i've taken this particular definition because it nicely combines both together okay if you go to pmi's definition of a project it is a little broader what it shows is project management is the application of knowledge skills and techniques to execute projects effectively and efficiently so the take away from this is that we when we look at project management is management of something unique 
and whether you are you you know and when you look at what is management we are looking at planning organizing securing managing resources or you know command coordinate control so all these verbs we can use it with with doing something for for bringing about a unique activity so i think we have a, we have a good understanding now project management is something which is unique then what what is management of something that's not unique process management okay so that's a that's so we come to this comparison between process and project management so if you take process it is something that's not unique and most of us are we involved in processes or in projects generally industry is involved in process okay they are doing uh, they are they are doing things which are repeated okay so so lot of what industry depends on today is repetitive can you give me examples yes assembly line so you have car manufacturing okay anything else processing food yeah you know lot, lot of what you know hindustan liver will make your all of your food packets soup packets everything is processing okay uh, you know you have uh, your the, the person who makes your cell phone nokia makes cell phones it's it's repetitive we'll come back to whether nokia says how repetitive is nokia cell phone or how it repetitive is apple iphone we'll come back to that okay so let's say electronics there are so many aspects of process and it is we can understand it's repetitive a lot of the service we encounter is repetitive i go to the bank okay the teller or whatever service many customers come to the bank for the same service day after day after day it's repetitive okay so for example bank it's a repetitive process anything else you can think of conducting an exam uh, is it now so that's an interesting one is it repetitive or is it project or repetitive conducting je exam every year is it a project or is it repetitive there is a protocol there's a protocol but there is so how unique is it there are challenges so so no no so no i i like to expand on that example quiz 1 quiz 2 quiz 3 is that more of a project or is je more of a project je is more of a project je is more of a project okay so what i want to want to highlight here i was going to do this later but it's the opportunity has come up now there is now we cannot start classifying everything as a pure process or a pure project you're going to find that there are things that are in between there are things that are partly pro i mean like this exam example some of some in mean, some quizzes which are done on a everyday basis are more of a process we don't think about it we delegate it we mean it's systematized and it's a process je by most standards it's a project okay so we we'll, let's see now get, 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 let's look at examples of a project what what are examples you can think of projects construction okay our favorite uh, area okay Yes, events. Human genome project. Yes, genome. Why do you call that a project? All scientific projects. Yes, all research and scientific things. So it is actually research. Even development for that matter, R&D. Yes, research and development is a project. So, so if you get a pro, if we take projects uh, like when you do your M-Tech project, it's a project because it's a single. Uh, elevate activity which you are going to take okay policy yes policy making very very high level it is a project okay so so for example uh, presenting the railway budget for a year will be almost like a project yeah aadhar card the card it's a project okay it's 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 so so you have an idea of what are these uh, aspects which are unique now just to reinforce what we have discussed <coughs> classic repetitive processes are assembly lines manufacturing a car it is repetitive it is it go we go on doing the same thing over and over again only if the model changes there is a change okay you know this is classic process coke it's so process oriented it's so highly automated that it just goes on without almost no human intervention 
now when and we can go on with examples like this so one thing which we have to understand or the reason i introduce this is we have to think you know when i take up a task is should i do it in a project mode or a process mode coming back to the quiz example if i'm going to do do exam or quiz i'm going to do quiz 1 quiz 2 quiz 3 or even the final exam for your semester it is a process mode of thought if i'm going to do a, you know a joint entrance exam conducted it is a project mode of thought they will they, so we have to understand how what the endeavors are when we take projects okay you can uh, recognize this this is the bandra voli highway the bridge you know something construction again dmrc some non construction example research is a project software development is a project okay so this is one of the areas of project development or project management that has got a lot of focus today because there's so much of software that is started uh, dev started coming out and a lot of uh, tools with project management has been associated with software development and when we talk about research for example development of a, a space uh, launch or you know drdo decides the new brahmos it is a project so again to to kind of repeat you have to now think of where where we need to use project based thinking where we need to use process based thinking now i want to again uh, come back to this so i think we have answered the question what is project management in looking at process and project we discussed that things need not be purely process things need not be purely project okay so this in between line has been uh, i think is getting more and more blurry in recent times i will take the assembly line itself as an example uh, it used to be we saw the ford assembly line one of the first assembly lines there it used to be that ford would probably put out a new model of a car once in a year or once in 2 3 years or even later if you came to, if you if you take the indian context the ambassador was one of the locally made cars we would probably get a new version of ambassador every 3 4 years if at all and that too there would not be major changes how is the how is the automobile industry today it's fast evolving right so so what is the project part of the car what is the pro process part of the car process is the manufacturing process is the repetitive manufacturing the project r and d that goes behind creating a new new design new modifications right new modifications putting out that new prototype finding out how it's going to so the new product that comes out is in a project mode after it comes to a project it goes into a process mode okay i'll use another example i take the uh, the cell phone industry or the smartphones how often does i mean again you look go back into the past you would probably change your phone i don't know how how often do you guys change your phone once in 2 years 3 years. years okay i've heard 6 months 9 months 1 year okay i'm sure the variation is there uh, in 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 the group but it would be that you would got a phone and you you held on to it for many years before you changed it but today the models itself don't permit you every 6 to 8 months what iphone comes out every uh, every no 8 no, months 8 months 9 months they get so so now again we are come to a cycle where the process of making an iphone yes is done in china and it is processized but the product of the new iphone is a project so so many companies find that now they have to be both in project management mode as well as process management otherwise they cannot be successful so that is the core difference today and that is one of the reasons why project management has really taken off okay the concept because people need to understand the concept of project management okay now yeah how do you classify super car industry for example each each car is uh do the model is same hmm. this cus customized to the right so 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 okay so so what is happening so if you actually go back to the car industry uh, what ford did was bring the assembly line and he standardized before ford it used to be customized now can you make a car in the customized mode uh, today without technology no okay so what's happening is uh, the customization is basically a result of technological development so again now now as we see project process project process the 
line is blurring okay but with technology being more enhanced we are able to do projects faster process go back into project mode go back into process okay so so one thing that's really pushing the project uh, capability is technology so i'll give you so basically i mean from what i understand you're saying if a customer wants a customized car the industry is able to deliver it today because uh, the robot that's making it can be programmed to customized as per customer requirements okay so that's happening to uh, something like uh, for example shoes okay uh, even now if you go to the shoe shop you go into a put in i say i buy a shoe or 10 or 10 and a half and i buy it and i hope it fits me perfectly is that that is a standardized way of a shoes right what would be the customized way of shoes why size is not your shape of your leg size is only a standardization of your leg what would be the customized way of doing that right so so i could take a laser scan of my leg and send it in to the to over the net to this factory they they read the scan the they will be able to make a shoe exactly to fit my leg and send it back to me possible because of technology so now the project so it, so in, if i had to do it with a shoe maker it would be a project for him where he would have had to come measure my leg and you know they used to actually do that in those days today it is in a technology is enabling and blurring these lines okay so so there the project mode is almost processized fully because of technology okay any other questions okay we move to the next question again in the context okay i um, i assume in some places you would have heard this but is management and specifically is project management an art or a science bit of both okay so if it is bit of both is it more of an art or more of a science it is more of a science and engineers we argue that it's more of science okay as engineers you would want it to be more of a science okay it used to be more of an art uh, in the earlier times when there okay. was no uh, strict methods and like uh, you know, procedures to follow but now that you know we have more and more procedures and set methods to do uh, project management it becomes more of a science okay so it's more of a science but if if i want to say uh, divide art and science between 100% what is it where is it where where is art what percentage is art what percentage is science actually management uh, requires optimization and then optimization terms come then there is mathematics so it lies in the uh, field of science then. no so is all management science no so what i'm saying is you want to manage a construction project i i mean optimization is a part of the whole thing i i want to successfully bring in a project is it art or is i uh, agreed it's art and science is it more art or more science very true individual to individual uh, individual or project, project to project it's more art than it's okay so so it's it's fair enough to have this uh, this uh, debate on more art more science at least with all the discussions i've had with industry and uh, and people in 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 practicing people uh especially on construction projects they will say it's still more of an art okay the science is still developing like you all are saying there is science but it's still developing and uh, we still have a long way to go okay so let's take a look at this in the context of art versus science so you can see we what we need to do if you take art what are the what are the aspects of art you know you have political acumen business acumen people acumen personal you know interpersonal skills leadership all this is art on the science side you have technique methodologies process tools okay you have to balance both and if you go to the art side it's person dependent if you are good at the art of project management it doesn't mean that i can repeat what you are doing so you need that project manager who is skilled project manager who has a lot of these capabilities to bring in a project and in in i mean if you go back in you know to to the earlier times that was what made you a good manager or whatever it was it was the art when you go into the science side you don't want it to be people dependent 
you want it to be system dependent you want repeatable results so repeatability is one of the pillars of science and quantification you want mathematics only if I can one another way of looking at science is if I can quantify and I can make it uh, you know express it in numerical form then I am being more in a science perspective not necessarily mathematical but it is one of the pillars the other is certainly repeatability I might have uh, rules which are not mathematical but if I apply those rules I can always get the same results that is good enough that is still science I am not person dependent I am not totally heuristic and person based okay so this is where we look so we understand we need a balance and if you look at management it is a relatively new science so you find there is an area called management science there are journals called management of management science okay which really looks at management from a scientific perspective and when you start looking at it from a so if you look if you actually go back okay this is uh, this is yeah Taylor whose uh, principles of scientific management was the first book that started I mean book which we all know of there are there have been before Taylor there were people who were uh, you know practicing science but they but did not make it uh, publicly as uh, I mean it is not as publicized as Taylor's work so when you look at uh, look at uh, his principles you see okay he started measurement based on measurement things started decisions started being made okay and like I said this was in the early 1900s so that is when management science we can say started now when you compare management science okay so what we need to know, know is now see so you know we agree there is science and art to it but this will become more apparent that it is more of an art when you compare it with some of the other disciplines so let us say you compare it with engineering I will take a very I mean mo most of you are in uh, have taken a lot of courses either in uh, say structural engineering it is a structural engineering art or science it is much more of a science there is art in it but certainly it is much more of a science okay there is no doubt about it right but if you go back a few hundred years was structural engineering art or science it was art you needed a master builder to be able to put it in, in, in you know the way you know to make it stand and he knew it because and if you did not have him you did not have the structure today it, it does not matter whether uh, I mean we can train you to be structural engineers and practice most of structural engineering repeatable you can make structures that stand so another thing is something that science can be taught can be taught in a classroom like this and that is the objective you take medicine art or science Okay. What is an art? More of a science. Some might argue it is too much of a science and you really need the art back to be able to do but again it is a balance of art and science but we see a lot of science in medicine. Of course you take pure sciences it is all science okay but where did all this start? So with I mean I have taken uh, pure sciences because we can look at some names who is this? Newton right. So what is so when Newt what did Newton do to make make the science his laws of motion and everything else uh, started quantifying okay force equals mass into action we did not have any uh, that forms the basis of many of, of mechanics and science so you know he, he quantified it and made it into a science Avogadro okay so again his number started making things scientific Faraday as far as electrical goes he is the one who made things scientific Lord Kelvin okay so all of these people were there many many years ago and started making physics and chemistry more science than art okay so we are now in that phase where management is trying to be made a science we are still more in the art form but we are trying to make it a science okay and that is that is the phase we are at let us take architecture close to our area should it be art or should it be science it should be art okay so we will we'll leave that for discussion we can go on about it okay it should be art it should be science if you do it without science uh, there are limitations if you certainly do it without art so so certainly we do not want it fully science 
it should be more art or you know something like art itself should be art okay should not be science anyway so that is an interesting point to debate.